the grass withers and the flowers fade but the word of our god endures forever heaven and earth will pass away but god's word will not pass away a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark now when the pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from jerusalem gathered around him they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands that is without washing them for the pharisees and all the jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands thus observing the tradition of the elders and they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it and there are also many other traditions that they observe the washing of the cups pots and bronze kettles so the pharisees and the scribes asked him why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders but eat with defiled hands he said to them isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites as it is written this people honors me with their lips but their hearts are far from me in vain do they worship me teaching human precepts as doctrines you abandon the commandment of god and hold to human tradition then he called the crowd again and said to them listen to me all of you and understand there is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile but the things that come out are what defile for it is from within from the human heart that evil intentions come fornication theft murder adultery avarice wickedness deceit licentiousness envy slander pride folly all these evil things come from within and they defile a person my dear sisters and brothers the readings of today's sunday the 22nd sunday of the ordinary year invites us to be the doers of the word and not merely the hearers of the word the doers of the word are those who practice the word every time they hear the word and not merely like the hearers to hear through one ear and let it out through the other what does it mean to be the doers of the word doers of the word are those who practice the word in their everyday life the readings of today exhort us today to to practice the word in the first reading moses exhorts the people of israel telling them that you are to obey the commandments of the lord and follow the precepts that the lord has given and only those who will obey or rather do what has been instructed by the lord will be able to enter the promised land in the second reading from the book of james james tells us that we are called to do the word every time we hear the word and he further tells us that doing the word invites us or calls us to reach out to others and finally in the gospel we have mark reminds us that we are called to put the word of god above everything especially above traditions customs and obligations a christian faith my dear sisters and brothers is not about fulfilling obli obligations it about it's about doing the word of god and what does the doing the word of god invites us what does it invite us to do to love to love because the word of god although 
contained in the Holy Scriptures, in many chapters, many books, everything can be just summed up with one word, love. John's Gospel 3.16 says, God sent His only Son because He loved the world. And the Old Testament is preparing the path, the way of the Son. And the New Testament presents to us the life of the Son. So my dear sisters and brothers, if we are to do the Word of God, then we are to love. Jesus himself says, the scripture itself tells us that God is not pleased by the sacrifices, but is pleased by the mercy. We are called to be merciful and compassionate, and that's the way we do the word of God. And my dear sisters and brothers, doing the word of God, we don't have to run around to search for the place. We get multiple opportunities to do the word, to practice the word, to apply the word to our life and to live it out. Are you a doctor? You are called to do the word by being merciful and compassionate towards your patient, to take care of them, not because of what you get out of it, but rather what you can give in service. Are you a lawyer? You are called to work towards justice, Provide justice to the person, not make white of black and black white for the sake of money. That is not doing the word of God. That is going against the word of God. Are you a teacher? You are called not just to teach the lessons that are found in the books, but to teach the values. Values that will make a person, person that pleases God and pleases one another. Are you a parent? Be an example to your children. Teach them by your life what it means to love. And my dear sisters and brothers, as someone has said, charity begins at home. We begin this doing at home first, loving our very own. If we cannot love our own, it will be hard for us to love an outsider. And so this Sunday exhorts each one of us to love. Love that is concretely expressed in service towards others. St. James in some other section of his letter says, Anybody who says, I have faith, and if that faith is not concretely translated in service towards the least, the lost and the forgotten, that is a dead faith. And so faith is seen in our love, and love is seen in our service. Because Jesus gave us that love in service. And the beautiful act of Jesus is washing the feet. I have come so that I may serve. My love implies that I reach out to others, to as many as I can in service of the others. And so my dear sisters and brothers, the scripture of today invites us to be the doers of the word and not merely hearers. You hear the word in many places. You go for the mass, you go for retreats, you do a lot of other spiritual exercises. But if all that you hear, the word that you hear, is not put to practice in your life, if you're not the doer of that word, it's mere an obligation. It's mere a tradition. It's mere a custom. And Mark's Gospel tells us Jesus does not want our obligations. Jesus wants us to practice love, to be the doers of the word, to be the lovers. Love that is concretely expressed in action. And it is only in this manner that we'll make the word of God come alive and through our action we will make the kingdom of God alive and active here on earth. May God bless us all so that the word that we read may not be just read and heard but rather lived out and practiced in our day-to-day -day life. We are called to be the doers of the word and not merely the hearers of the word. Amen. Let the word of God dwell in you. Join us every Friday to store up God's word in your heart.